What is all of this that I'm hearing about this new drug, terzepatide? Well, it's not exactly new. You just may have known it by the name Monjaro, and now it's FDA approved under the name Zepbound. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Katrina Mattingly, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer here at Options Medical Weight Loss. Now, what's the difference between this new GLP-1 medication that we've heard so much about and the new one, terzepatide? Well, Trisepatide has two different active medications. Now we're used to our GLP-1 receptor agonist drugs, um, our semaglutide, Trulicity, Saxenda, Wagovi, Ozempic. We've heard about those for months and months now. Trisepatide is actually two different medications. So we've got our GLP-1 drug and we've also got something called GIP, which is glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide. Yes, that is a mouthful. Now, the GLP-1s we know decrease appetite, help to slow um, motility and gut transit, so making you feel fuller longer and kind of decreasing your appetite. It also has some effects on glucose metabolism. So the GIP medication also has effects on glucose. It helps make the metabolism of sugar in your body better. It helps to release insulin into the bloodstream, it helps to decrease uh, the body's production of sugar. It also has some effects on lipid or fat metabolism as well. Now, FDA approval recently came in November of 2023 for ZepBound, which is the FDA approved version of trisepatide and the dosing schedule and the doses that go along with that. Manjaro originally was FDA approved for diabetes and that still holds true, but we also now have this FDA approval for obesity, which is really nice. How much weight can you expect to lose on the terzepatide versus the semaglutide, which we've all been hearing so much about? So for the terzepatide medication, patients can lose 15 to 20% of their body weight. We even have some patients losing as much as 25%. So it's a significant amount of weight loss, and with those things come the other benefits of better blood pressure and better cholesterol levels. And it's got some cardioprotective effects, meaning it helps decrease your risk of heart disease or complications from heart disease. Now, of course, there's some side effects with these medications. As discussed with some agatide and our GLP-1 medications, you can get some GI upset. So the nausea, the vomiting, the diarrhea, the constipation, um, fatigue, headache. Those are some things that are still also coming along with the trisepatide. Although a lot of patients have told us that the side effects are not as severe or lasting as long as patients that originally started off on the semaglutide. In order to mitigate some of those side effects, it's the tried and true. You gotta stay hydrated. When people's appetites are decreased or when they're a little nauseated, they just don't eat or drink. So you get dehydrated, you start feeling fatigued, you get headaches, you get constipated. So you need to hydrate, you need the electrolytes, you need vitamins and uh, minerals and nutrients. Options has a variety of shakes for both protein and hydration that can help you to stay hydrated throughout the day, even if you're not feeling like you wanna eat a whole lot. So is terzepatide the right drug for you? This is a blockbuster class of drugs that we're seeing in a new emerging era of obesity medicine and the whole medical community is so excited about it. If you're interested to find out if you're a candidate, please click the link below and get a free consultation because at Options, we have options for everybody. Did you like this video? Like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest videos. You can also visit our website using the link below to schedule a free consultation with us. We have options for everybody.